In John chapter 2 verse 12 to verse 19 we see this zeal or zealous concern in the life of Jesus Christ when he was on earth. He was zealous towards the Father's house. John chapter 2 verse 12 it goes after this he went down to Capernaum he and his mother and his brethren and his disciples and they continued there not many days and the Jews Passover was at hand and Jesus went to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting and when he had made a scourge of small courts, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the tables. And he said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, make not my father's house and house of merchandise and his disciples remember that it was written let's go together one two go the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up and then answered the jews and said unto him what sign showest thou unto us seeing that thou doest these things jesus answered and said unto them destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. Amen. You can see the zeal of Jesus for the Father's house. He came and saw that it had been turned to a marketplace, a market square. People turned it to a market square. Make not my father's house a house of merchandise. That is it. Don't make it a market square. How did he do it? Was he gentle? No, he was not gentle. He was not gentle. He carried a whip and began to beat the people off. And to push down those tables, having money, overturn it. Don't make my father's house a market square and then the people remember that it was written in scripture the zeal of the Lord has eaten me up that is how it should be to you the zeal of the Lord of your father's house should eat you up the zeal of this work we are doing should eat you up the zeal of the people of God, the children of your father, shall eat you up so that you don't live a non challenged Christian life. Nothing concerns you. You are not a real child of God. If you are a real child of God, it will concern you. If you really belong to your father, to the family, for the interest of that family, and somebody is coming to take a portion of land that belongs to your family, will you keep quiet? You will talk. You will handle that matter seriously. Even if you are threatened, you will say, stand. It's our, no, I can't allow this. Then it is in the church of Christ. Many don't bother. Anybody does what he wants. Anybody comes and goes. Anybody takes his seat. Anybody spoils what he wants to spoil. Anybody, even when you know the person is not right. Or the person is not doing it rightly. No, leave me alone. You are not a serious Christian. You are not a zealous child of the heavenly father. That you belong to this movement. That Jesus always says, my movement my movement and you could watch it turn into a place of merchandise you could watch the devil literally taking over the movement 
and say nothing you are not original no you are not oh you are too holy to make noise you are too loving you can't offend anybody you are so loving that love is from hell it has no connection with heaven because the love of god is first pure the love from hell is a compromising love that allows the devil does what he wants so jesus christ made a court and began he took a whip and began to flock those people is it not the gentle jesus is it not the loving jesus is it not the humble jesus that said be meek as i am where is he frowning face because many of you will accuse pastor when pastor takes life seriously to whip out iniquity to clear out iniquity pastor who this man allow he says a holiness person it's like somebody wrote me a text he said i should give you money because he wants to do business with it i i am i not saying i'm a holiness pastor i should give you <laughs> that is what they're saying so maybe to defend people's commendation you will leave the house of god polluted you see evil and keep quiet maybe you hide under that well i am not the leader oh no god will tell the, the other person god knows they are not original son you are not original daughter the zeal of my father's house has eaten me up zealous concern for our heavenly father's house zealous concern for our heavenly father's people zealous concern for our heavenly movement zealous concern for our heavenly father's ministers you come where they're talking anyhow laughing against your the, the, the servant of god and you're there he said ah, let me not talk because uh, uh, let them not say you are not a serious person you are not god knows you are fake because if you are truly a lo a loving child that loves the father they are spoiling the name of your father's minister somebody the heavenly father took decades to and they are giving him a bad testimony so that people should not hear the word of your father and you kept quiet you didn't defend you have no zeal for him you have no concern for him you have no concern but jesus demonstrated it here clearly zealous concern now you have seen it in the life of jesus there's another person they call him Phineas, another zealous man in scripture look at it in numbers chapter 25 verse 6 to 15. numbers 25 verse 6 to 15. and behold one of the children of israel came and brought unto his brethren a Midianitish woman in the sight of moses and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of israel who were weeping before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and when phinehas the son of eleazar the son of aaron the priest saw it he rose up from among the congregation and took a javelin in his hand and he went after the man of israel into the tent and thrust both of them through the man of israel and the woman through her belly so the plague was stayed from the children of israel and those that died in the plague were twenty and four thousand and the lord spake unto moses saying one to go everybody phinehas the son of eliezer the son of aaron the priest had turned my wrath away from the children of israel while he was zealous for my sake among them that i consumed not the children of israel in my jealousy wherefore see 
behold i give unto him my covenant of peace and he shall have it and his seed after him even the covenant of an everlasting priesthood because he was zealous for his god and made an atonement for the children of israel can you see after the council of Balaam, Bela sent harlots, prostitutes, in the number among the children of Israel, and they caused them to commit immorality and defile themselves. And that provoked the Lord to anger. And the Lord slew many of them a great number were slain by the Lord and while the people sat down and were weeping because 24,000 people had died in one day here was another Israelite that went and took a Midianitish woman and even when the people were sitting with Moses mourning, he carried this woman, not bothering what was happening madness, demon possessed that boy he carried the woman to the tent and undressed the woman undressed himself and was on top of that woman when Phineas saw that this person carried the woman to the tent he didn't take permission from Moses. He just stood up quietly and carried his javelin. Many didn't know what he was doing. And moved there. And the man was on top of the lady. He passed the spear through them. Both of them. From the back to the stomach to the back. And they died. He held it. They died. And see how happy God was. So happy. And see the blessing that followed. Hmm. Brother, people, Satan has sponsored people to spoil this work God is doing. And you saw one of them. You saw some children. You saw some men. You saw some women. You keep quiet. You will answer it after death. Just fake confession. I love Jesus. You will answer it after your death. Finney has stood up. Let anybody blame me that he, he went to kill people. Senseless people can blame him. But there's a sensible God in heaven. That will justify him. Not only justify him, will reward him. God will reward him and pass the reward over to his children and establish his ministry forever. That is it. Zealous concern for our heavenly father's house. If God is your God, where are you not concerned? If God is your Lord, where are you not showing concern over? the pollution in his house why not in the book of Malachi if God is your God and you really love God as you say why are you not speaking why have you left the devil eh? Malachi chapter 1 verse 6 a son honoreth his father and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Said the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests that despise my name. Allow any pollution into my temple. Stubborn people. See how stubborn that man was. That here there was mourning and crowd gathered mourning with Moses he was carrying a lady passing them see how stubborn 
if you don't arise in judgment you think these people fear god if judgment does not arise do you think they fear god all this preaching you're doing do you think they're hearing it in the place of uprightness in the place of righteousness and holiness you will commit iniquity but when your judgment is in the land the people learn righteousness now the lord has decided to go by judgment join him so to bring righteousness to his movement join the law let not your eyes pity anybody let not your eyes fear let not your heart bring about hypocritical sympathy devilish sympathy judgmental sympathy sympathy that will merit judgment of god let not your heart do that join god to support him to clean the place because jesus is not coming to die the second time it's only once he is coming now for salvation and they want to pollute everything zealous concern for the father's house see what the lord is saying yes in verse 7 ye offer polluted bread upon my altar and ye say when have we polluted thee in that ye say the table of the lord is contemptible you don't value the house of god you don't value the property of god you if you see them not lying where you leave them there you see them not treated well you abandon them there it's not your concern let's go i'm not employed for it hmm. that's what we're saying Phineas got the covenant of everlasting priesthood got promotion in ministry why because he demonstrated zeal for the lord that is it paul and silas another set of people these ones they didn't mind to die they were ready to face the matter let them be attacked let them be stunned let them be imprisoned but one thing is the name of the lord must prosper look at it in acts of apostles chapter 15 acts of apostles chapter 15 verse 24 to 26 for as much as we have heard that satan which went out from us have troubled you with words, subverting your soul, saying, Ye must be circumcised and keep the law, to whom we gave no such commandment. It seemed good unto us, being assembled with one accord, to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul. Men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our lord jesus christ barnabas and paul have hazarded their lives barnabas and paul have hazarded their lives these are not people <laughs> the many people here are afraid if we stand on this matter of witches and wizards they will come and kill us you're not a serious person you're dead already in hell your name is in hell you would die i'm telling you if you are afraid for your soul because the bible says he that will save his soul will lose it give your soul out you will save it you are afraid to stand to wipe out this thing from the church because you say they will attack you you will be attacked hell will attack you you are not a serious person you are not you're a hypocrite you don't have the zeal for jesus it's, it's possible you're not born again that's why you're not bold to withstand evil to withstand iniquity i said not in my father's house you can't do that here 
you can't commit immorality in my father's house with my eyes open it will not work it will not work hey i reported it to the leader then you will stand to it you will take it to god in prayer you will take it further to senior leadership higher leadership to ensure this thing is handled this thing is handled cry to god they are polluting your house they are polluting your house cry god this thing must not happen zealous concern for our heavenly father's house men that have hazarded themselves are not afraid of the government are not afraid of the muslims contrary religion the demon that is in charge was created by god and must hear the voice of god that demon doesn't live on his own satan the senior brother of that demon knew that he could not oppress job until he took permission from god so can that demon come to you whoever fears go for jesus go for jesus no demon will temper with you the madness of religion will come under your feet in jesus name men that have hazarded their souls for the name of the lord jesus christ yes barnabas and paul timothy in philippians chapter 2 verse 19 to 23 the bible tells us here saying but i trust in the lord jesus to send timothy shortly unto you that i also may be of good comfort when i know your state for I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state. Zealous concern for our heavenly father's house. Naturally without inducement. Naturally without money. How much will you pay? Naturally without force freely he will care for you why because of his zealous concern for the gospel of jesus he wants it to prosper he wants that gospel to make progress that's why naturally he would do it natural without force without threat he will do it that's how god wants you to flow no, well, they will, they, will, they will be marking name. If I don't go now, they will mark my name absent. Where did you put your natural love for God? That you are acting now by fear. Where did you put it? Your natural love for God. Where did you put it? That they are inducing you. They give you money before you go. They promise you food. Before you do it where is your natural love for your father's house for your father's people for your father's children for the gospel of your heavenly father master lord and lord and savior jesus where is your natural love i have no man like minded who will natural these people are very scarce they are few that love God. Others you see them with mouth. Go and announce among them. He that is not sincere, let him go back home. You will be surprised. The crowd of people that will be going back home. Where are you going? I, I told you announce that those who are not sincere should go back. That's where we are going back. How many of you? 22,000 out of 32 are going back home. Because they are not fully for this thing you be fully for it ma be fully woman be fully for it in rain in sunshine let me tell you a story the lord 
came to speak to us why we didn't go to France. You will be surprised. I tell you. He gave a revelation. And in this revelation, we went to preach somewhere with some coordinators. And while we were busy in the evangelism open air, terrible rain broke out upon us. So many say, ah, ah, let's withdraw. Uh, maybe the Lord doesn't want us to do it today. Tomorrow, we will come back tomorrow. So while we were withdrawing, the revelation showed that I changed my mind. I said, no, let's be, persi let's be persistent. Let's move. Don't we do preach in the rain? Then where Satan was revealed. He showed anger, terrible anger, wrath. Because we didn't withdraw. He was angry. I brought this rain so that you people should stop this evangelism. Slatching souls from my hand. Instead of you stopping it, you are continuing. He was very angry, but what can he do again? Eventually, the rain stopped. And we have our weather. Preaching continued. Then the Lord said, have you seen? It's not all interruptions that come from me. Don't always say, when you are interrupted, that it is by me. I cost it. I may be the Lord. Maybe the Lord. Have you seen that the fire that came from heaven upon the property of Job and burnt it didn't come from me? But the devil showed clearly that it came from heaven. Everything that comes from heaven comes from who? It's natural. That's your thought. Don't think that you're not getting the visa to go to Europe was because I stopped it. The witches in Europe have made up their mind that you will not go there. They want to take possession of that place. That's Jesus speaking this. If you people will not pray and be thinking, ah, it's God, it's, God. it's not all of God. You need to pray. You would have covered that thing with much prayer. You would have sought my will because I know all things. Where should you go? Which country should you go for the visa? What is this? What I'm prayed on it. You don't know your spiritual battle. Jesus talking this. Jesus speaking like this. It is a battle. Walk that we have to stand up and fight. I not think that it is casual. Yeah. A preacher called it the period we are in now. Injury time. But Jesus revealed it that the time has passed. It's extra time. Extra time. So take things seriously. Take Christianity and don't be cheap to the devil don't permit him don't allow him take it by the by the horn save the people of the Lord so Paul is speaking here of Timothy for I have no man like minded who will naturally naturally care for your state for all seek their own not the things which are Jesus Christ But he had no the proof of him that as a son with the father he had served with me in the gospel. A son with the father. He has served with me in the gospel showing natural concern. Showing natural zeal for the father's house. Showing natural concern. As you who are in church, immediately you see crowd of people, you should be thinking, how are they going to eat? In the, they are in the camp. What will these people eat? How will they sleep? 
it should come up naturally on you it should be natural you see somebody walking anyhow in the car who is this person where is he coming from is he positive or negative your concern is natural oh, no it's not my responsibility not your responsibility you can't report something that is looking abnormal you went and saw somebody inside the room and you look at the person you don't understand him well you can go out say i have seen somebody there i don't know whether he jumped through the fence you can't say it i have no man like-minded who will naturally naturally show concern he said others seek their own not the things that belong to jesus christ <laughs> others seek their own the revival the lord has given to us has to come us two commas the first comma come comes for righteousness salvation blessing the second one comes for money job opportunity somebody sent me a text message i don't know him he said pastor i just finished my degrees degree and uh, I, I read um, adult education and the sociology. Is this adult education and what? And sociology, whatever. Uh, I have a second, second class lower and uh, I am looking for a job so I have come to you to help me. Please help me get a job. I just replied to him, seek me rather for more knowledge of god and righteousness for that is where i major <laughs> are you hearing what i'm saying i major where <laughs> knowledge of god and his righteousness are you asking me to go and be looking for a job for you this you might be, be very careful with me that is their own instead of coming to me for righteousness they're coming for money they're coming for themselves others seek their own not the things that are jesus christ even relations i will want relations to come for the work of god for the righteousness of christ for heaven to serve the lord better no it's money money human beings are like that a man came to jesus and said please tell my brother to share that land with me people were coming to jesus christ to believe in him so they can go to heaven and be free from sin in fact in sicknesses let jesus heal them but he came for business jesus should go and tell his elder brother to share the land with him jesus looked at him and said who made me a divider and a sharer of land for you you mean I came from heaven to come and be sharing land here? That's man. Selfishness. I have no one like-minded whose interest is in God. Whose zeal is of the house of God. The people of God. The children of God. Worldwide. I sit down and suffer much sorrow regularly because of other churches i am in pain i see christianity as dead worldwide what do we do how do we raise up these people what additional thing do we do how do we do it that's concern zealous concern for the father heavenly father's house so paul said verse 22 but ye know the proof of him that as a son with the father he has served with me in the gospel him therefore i hope to send presently so soon as i shall see how it will go with me send me i will go 
send me I will go where he sends I will go what he says I will do that's what I expect of you who are working with me in the camp who are also working with me as coordinators in just yours is to take instruction go for it tell me to do anything for this Jesus oh has he given you a vision tell it as you're finishing I am going out for it that's why you're here that's why you're in this movement you are here to serve you are here to demonstrate this zeal I brought you into the chariot as Jehu did to Jonadab he said is your heart right with me as mine is right with you he said yes come up here sit with me in this chariot and see my zeal for the Lord sit with me and let's go be ready for it no excuse is it not our God together are we not serving him is it not one God what I tell you move believe that God has spoken move is there no prophet here there is elisha the, the son of shaphat who poured water in the hands of elijah the word of god is with him let's go there you should believe that god is with me that's why you're here that's why you're working with me what i say move quickly let's go it is because of our zealous concern for our heavenly father's house our zealous concern we want the work done quick we want the holiness of god the purity of god quick fast and walk we're walking in these little seconds we have before us again we see the case of epaphras epaphras colossians chapter 4 verse 12 Colossians chapter 4 verse 12 and 13 verse 12 and 13 Epaphras who is one of you a servant of Christ saluteth you always laboring fervently for you in prayers that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God for I bear him record that he had a great zeal for you and them that are in Laodicea and them also in Herapolis. He has a great zeal. It makes him to pray always praying for you. Praying for you. If, if Epaphras hears a report about you, he's taking it to prayer let him hear that satan is making any noise around you epaphras is taking it to prayer let him hear that there's rebellion in the house of his father he's taking it to prayer let him hear that there is a plan for a outreach pre preaching program he's taking it to prayer let him hear that anybody is sick he's taking it to prayer epaphras zealous concern for his father's heavenly father's children zealous concern for his heavenly father's ministers epaphras zealous concern for his heavenly father's congregation epaphras are you zealous for god for the heavenly father's house are you really having concern for the ministers in these various denominations how many of them are fumbling how many of them have been deprived of truth how many of them have been caged by the devil how many of them desire and are working hard to advance but they know little are you having concern how to strengthen them how to perfect them even if to assist them monetarily if you have give them materials buy these materials send these cds books dvds and all take sponsoring them can you come for conference i, I will pay you from wherever you are you're coming 
Do you have this zealous concern? That's what God really wants you to know. See Epaphras. Prayer. Prayer. He specialized in that. His heart is towards God's house in prayer. This work must move. This work must move on. This work, I'm not seeing growth. I'm not seeing new people. I'm not seeing the people that can bear the mantle. The devil has blocked these people somewhere. You don't know what Satan is busy doing. You don't know. It is prayer that will reveal it. It's prayer that will make him run away. It's prayer. Some boys might be on the roadside blocking you, blocking vehicles. They will not pass until they give us this. As soon as soldiers come, they say, hey, soldiers, mm, they pick this. When they just, let, let, let the policemen come and shoot into the air. Pop, 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 pop. They will start running from where? Inter bush, inter jump here, jump here. They will disappear from that place. That's what prayer will do. That is prayer. Many things have been blocked. There's no growth. You remain the year where you are. I was moving around to see you people. Who are these? Who belong to this place? Who belong to this place? Who belong to this place? We are looking for people. God bring the people. Why are we slow in growth? <laughs> Why are we slow in growth? Satan must be doing something to stop our growth. Satan is working to stop this growth. We are in battle. Listen, another revelation came concerning some of these zealous witches. Wizard. They are working for God. They are working. They go out. We have opened chapter here. We have opened unit here. We have opened this. We went to this place. We went to this place. Jesus said, as you see them go, they go with something that is like uh, alum to cast in that place that it will be dry. You will not see original people coming up. You see what going on? Who told you that work is going on? Can the kingdom be divided against itself? I'm telling you. It's a serious battle. Don't pray and think that things are going nothing. All those activities, nothing is coming out of it. Nothing. You must rise up with prayer. And there was this song. Oh, they are going for evangelism here. They are going for this one. They are going to open chapter there. Chapter that will never grow. You need that after a time it scatters again. But you have been deceived that they're walking. It's prayer. Prayer. I'm talking to children of God. Are you there? Zealous concern for your heavenly father's house. The church is not growing and you're not doing anything about it. You think these activities are the things that, oh, we're walking, we're walking. Do you know those people doing the war? Do you know the people doing the work? Do they really have the heart to do the work? Are they called? Are they anointed? So, Epaphras, in Philippians chapter 2 verse 24, Philippians chapter 2, Verse 24 for, to verse 30. But I trust in the Lord that I also myself shall come shortly. Yet I suppose it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, Epaphras, my brother and companion in labor and fellow soldier, but your messenger and he that ministered to my wants. For he longed after you all. I was full of heaviness because that ye had heard that he had been sick. For indeed, he was sick near unto death. But God had mercy on him, and not on him only, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. I sent him therefore 
the more carefully that when ye see him again ye may rejoice and that i may be the less sorrowful receive him therefore in in the lord with all gladness and hold such in reputation because for the work of christ he was near unto death not regarding his life to supply your lack of service toward me epiphras for the work of christ he was sick near unto death the zeal of his father's house the heavenly father's house the zeal consumed him that man will not rest fasting tomorrow today fasting next week fasting for the work of god for the name of jesus to deal with those demons that want to hinder this work Epiphras. he was sick the devil fought him the devil fought him it's a battle the fact that the hand of opening touched you does not mean he has won the battle no he has not so the devil hand can, can hit him too but that doesn't mean Satan has won no no he will win you will win despite the hand of Satan that hit you you will hit him ten times and you will be the winner the end of a thing is better than the beginning the final referee is Jesus keep on he knows who will win because he is the winner as long as you are on his side you have won but he did not fear he did not fear we have to be moving up and down for this world not minding satanic attack poison whatever whatever we move no don't mind those things we are winning I say we are winning for the Lord is true and faithful is dependable we believe in him we put our hearts on him and move forward he supports us he clears the way for us so show your zeal for Jesus in your unit in your chapter in your zone in your region in your state in your nation zeal for those are the people that Jesus came to this world for Titus chapter 2 verse 11 to 14 For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior and our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works read verse 14 one two go a peculiar people zealous of good works that is the reason that is your salvation that's the reason why you were saved peculiar people special people zealous zeal of the lord should consume you let's stand for this the bible says is it nothing to you that people are perishing churches have turned off after magic members are being sold to demons being oppressed in the name of sowing seed they buy they, try, they are made to buy salvation to buy healing what the lord gives freely they invest all and die inside the whole thing your lord is weeping are you not going to 
appease him? Will he not comfort Jesus? Now, finally, Exodus chapter 18, verse 17 to 23. Exodus 18, 17 to 23. And Moses father in law said unto him, The thing that thou doest is not good. Thou wilt surely wear away both thou and this people that is with thee. For this thing is too heavy for thee. Thou art not able to perform it thyself alone. Listen. The father in law visited Moses. After how many years? And Moses was not available at home. When, they left, when Moses said bye bye, father in law, he was not coming back until late night. And that was happening every day. No conversation, no relationship with Moses. Ah, uh ah. -uh. We got Moses. What's happening to you that I don't see you? He said, Oh, you know, when the people have matters, they come to me. To judge between one and the other. And the, you know the people are many. I sit down in the judgment from morning till evening. I sit down in the judgment from morning till evening. And Moses' father in law say, Hey, that's the wrong thing you are doing. The thing you are doing is wrong. How is it wrong? Father in law, that is our working nature here. No. There's wisdom to apply in that thing. If you do like that, you will wear away. My brethren, I suffer a lot in this council. When you finish your conference and go, my conference remains one week. Or more than one week. Sitting in this room morning till night morning to 12 a.m morning to another counseling like a machine you go to lie down you're rolling on the bed you stretch your hand you move this way you pull this way because you are exhausted Moses' father-in-law was right he was right that type of thing cannot continue because you will wear away. Nature will take its own effect. Nature is a law. God set it there. If you break the hedge, the serpent shall bite you. No, don't do that. In fact, also, you will wear these people away. Some of them who come to seeking counsel, they can sit until... <laughs> You are sitting there to 11 a.m. You are sitting, I mean 11 p.m. You are sitting now, waiting for your turn. 12 a.m. You are still waiting for your turn. Are you not wearing away? There are many things you would have gone to do. You can't do. Hey, is it my turn? Is it my turn? He said, "You also wear these people away." Then he said. Verse 19. Hearken now unto my voice. I will give thee counsel. And God shall be with thee. Be thou for the people to God world. That thou mayest bring the causes unto God. It was to stop your praying towards God for these people. Because they have taken away all your time of prayer. They have also taken away all your energy of prayer. They have taken, you are too exhausted to have time to pray. No, you can't intercede well for them before God. If you spend all that time, better my own, that is for a period of program. Moses was every day. Then how will you do it, Moses? No. It's not good. Be thou for the people to God's world 
that thou mayest bring the causes unto God in intercession and prayers. Verse 20. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws and shall show them the way wherein they must walk and the work that they must do. Teach these people. Let them know. Is it, the, the truth is a principle. Truth is truth is static. Truth does not change. Truth is constant. It does not vary. So let them know the truth. Let them know the doctrines. Teach them the doctrines. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws. And shall show them the way wherein they must walk. And the work that they must do. Make show them the righteousness. The principles of righteousness. The life of righteousness. And the work of righteousness. Teach them. Verse 21. And moreover thou shalt provide out of all the people. Able men. This is where the matter is. Able men. I remember in the 90s when I was pastoring in the, one of the deeper life branches. I had in my district then about 120 people in the congregation. This could be maybe 92 or so or 90 or something. 120 people. I will look around them. Who among these people can be assigned to what? Or can be asked to act for me if I am not here now? I look at their faces. Look around. Examine this one. Look around. Examine this one. I didn't find it. I didn't find a person that I could have confidence in. That is it. It's not the multitude. It is able men. It is zealous men. It is people that have caught the fire of the gospel. It's not everybody. It's people with practical example exemplary lifestyle you check around able man for God there was a time he said I looked among the people to see who was standing the gap so that I spared these people I look I didn't find one that's God so it is not crowd I have no man like minded who will naturally care for your state for all seek their own and not the things that are Jesus Christ. So you can see the problem leadership finds. The problem is getting who is the person that has come out. Jehu. Before he was able to deal with Jezebel, who was in the upper room, he said, said, who is there? Who? A eunuch looked out. Suppose that nobody looked out. A eunuch looked out and said, throw her down. What if nobody looked out? No, suppose nobody looked out. Which person would Jehu have used? The work is too much for one man. If there aren't people to do this work in the zones, in the states, in the nation, you will send a report. We have many reports. Apart from treating report department, we have other evangelistic department. We have financial 
department. We have construction department. Are you hearing the departments? We have preaching department. We have writing department. And all for one person. How can the work be done very fast? We need people, able men, people who have looked out that you can see and instruct to do this work. Otherwise, definitely it will be slow. Things that would have been done in one month is taking two, three years. It's still in the mind, but it is time. When will it come up? So, he said, and thou shalt, moreover thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God. That's another thing. Righteous, not just anybody. Anybody can want to be a coordinator, but is he righteous? Does he have a family to present? What about his ability to communicate? Can he speak fluently? How I see you many things come into examination. Men that fear God. Men of truth, they have known the truth. They know the doctrines. They practice the doctrines. They have testimonies that they practice it. Men of truth, hating covetousness. Ah. That's where many fell. Money. Money. They cannot deliver the money. They cannot. They cannot deliver the money. One of our brothers who died, what happened? The money he personally embezzled is more than one million. I'm telling you, is it only himself? What about you? By this qualification, are you supposed to have been a leader? Because the money of God goes to you, personal needs. You say you borrow it. Who asks you to borrow it? Who is the bank manager that signed the check for you to get that money? Waiting for hell. Then how can you handle other people? Listen, our brother that is with us, Senator, I have not approached him one day for all these years. Give us money to do this. Go and ask him one day. I've not done it. Why? Wow. If the Lord moves him, he should do it in the liberty of his heart. So that I don't have a man that becomes my own God. That if I have need, hey, I have a man here. No, I have God. I'm telling you the truth. I tell you the truth. Because many of your eyes are on a man. You are wearying the man. Every problem in your house, hey, we have senator, we have senator, wearying him. People who are faithless, covetous people, covetous people who have not got God in focus. God is not in their focus. It's man. Little thing, your problem, your family. Hey, can you speak to Senator? Hey, can you do? Hey, can you? You want to weary a man and send him out of the church because of your covetousness. Covetousness. Who cannot believe God? Who cannot look to God? Make provoking God to anger. Provoking the most high. Belittling him. Worshippers of men. You will talk to them they are not hearing. You will talk to them they are not hearing. Because they live in the flesh. 
They don't understand spiritual things. Hating covetousness is that its qualification. Hating covetousness. That's what he said. And placed such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties and rulers of tens place this correct man over the walk place this man verse 22 and let them judge the people at all seasons and it shall be that every great matter they shall bring unto thee but every small matter they shall judge so shall it be easier for thyself and they shall bear the burden with thee. Simple. So that you rest. After program, let my coordinators come and take over these people. Some of them, what is even their matter? What is it? Uh, pray for me. After all the prayer here, they come and stand on live for another prayer. Pray for me. But the prayer here, you no, know, pray again. He said, pray again. Pastor, just lay hand. They were... <laughs> I was, I think I was standing or walking somewhere. Before I knew it, somebody had already kneeled directly on where my hand is. Just lay. <laughs> Pastor, just lay hand. Just lay hand. Touch my head. Touch my head. They have spoiled them in these uh, prosperity churches. Attention has gone to man. Faith is destroyed. Touch them for many hundred times, nothing will come out. Pray for them hundred times, nothing, because their faith is in man. Cursed be he who faith has turned from God to man. He shall not see when good comes. So, make them to do this work with you. If thou shalt do this thing, and God command thee so, then thou shalt be able to endure. And all these people shall also go to their place in peace. So, you see, you came for this work. How will you come for this walk along with me and you will see evil and not talk about it? How? You will see evil and not report it. A matter will come to your hand and it gets lost there and I'm not aware. A matter will be bigger than you, you will not bring it to me. You will not bring it to me because you are all in all. You cannot humble down by this scripture. The bigger matters they shall bring to Moses. No, yours, nothing is bigger than you. Pride of man. That is the situation. But now, you will walk with me. We shall walk together. And we shall all walk with God. For we are laborers together with God to make this church holy and perfect to fight Satan day and night for the Lord has sworn that he will war with Amalekites from generation to generation until there is no one Amalekite left on earth let's rise up upon our feet Release yourself for this work. Zealous for the name of the Lord. Matters of witchcraft, you will take it seriously. Secret sins, people who are in wrong marriages that are in the service of God, you will take it seriously. You will expose those things. Abnormalities in chapter meeting, in unit meeting, you will take it seriously. The house is of your father. Wrong dressing.
people dressing corruptly corrupt dress corrupt dance you will rise up and talk about it to keep the church clean and every good suggestion that will make progress bring progress to the your father, heavenly father's house you will give it out you will make contribution let this work be done rise up and let us build tell the lord you would you would build his house if truly the lord has called you zealous for your heavenly father's house zealous concern for our heavenly father's house zealous concern for our heavenly father's house will go with Jesus everywhere no matter the roughness of the road I must go I must go I must go with Jesus everywhere no matter the roughness of the road I must go I must go I will go with Jesus everywhere no matter the roughness of the road I must go I must I must go you must go with Jesus everywhere everywhere no matter the roughness of the road you must go you must go nizanje da yesu koina bandamo da gagara hanya ba nizanje 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 da yesu koina koina bandamo da gagara hanya ba nizanje Nizanji, I will go with Jesus everywhere, no matter the roughness of the road. I must go, I must go. Open yourself and lay upon Jesus. I said, I've released myself to you. I have released myself to you.
Jesus name we pray you can be seated the message you have just listened to is a production of holiness revival movement worldwide holiness revival movement worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3900. Or zero eight zero five six eight three four three two three. You can also reach us through our email address Holiness Revival Movement at Gmail dot com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my I believe in you, you are the living Savior, I believe in you, you are my Lord and Savior.
Jesus, I believe. 